When it comes to troubleshooting the E83 Pressure Too High air code on your gas Evolution Elite models as well as your LOV gas models, the biggest thing that I want to know as a technician that's going to make my time in the field much more efficient with troubleshooting is am I getting that E83 air code on one control panel only or am I getting across all the control panels on the fryer? The reason this piece of information is important because this is going to determine which path my troubleshooting goes down depending on what situation we have. The E83 air code is generated when the pressure inside the plumbing lines exceeds 30 psi. This is monitored by a pressure transducer located at the back of the fryer that gives a DC voltage signal back up to our AIF board which in turn will give that information to the control board generating the air code that we see. The one thing that we need to keep in mind when it comes to troubleshooting this air code, whether that air code is on one control or all of the controls, is the number one contributing factor to this air code is if the filter pan assembly has been put together incorrectly or if they're not using a filter pad at all. What happens is those filter crumbs get through the filter system and then they get caught in one-way check valves within the filter system, causing the E83 air code. So now that we know the components involved with this air code and also the reason behind it with the crumbs, now we can talk about the two different troubleshooting methods and what that's gonna look like. If I have that E83 air code coming up on all my control panels that's across all my vats on the fryer, then I need to look at the plumbing diagram and take a look at what's common between all those different vats. Well, if we look at that plumbing diagram, what we're gonna see is in between the filter pump motor and the selector valve is we're gonna see the pressure transducer that's common to all those vats, as well as the check valve that goes into the selector valve. You'll see that located right here with the arrow indicator on it. So as we can see, these two items are common to the entire fryer with all the different vats. So this is what could cause that air code to come up in a situation where it's displayed on all the control panels at the same time. So what we'd be looking for there is to see if we have a check valve that might be partially restricted by a bunch of crumbs getting inside of it, causing that pressure to increase and therefore generating our air code. Something that we could also have happen is we could actually get crumb buildup inside of our pressure transducer orifice causing it to give it an inaccurate reading. So when it comes to getting that error code displayed across all of our control panels at the same time, these are the components that we need to be considering when it comes to our troubleshooting because they're in common with all the different vats on the fryer. In some cases, depending on the severity of the clog inside the check valve, these can be taken off of the fryer and cleaned and then put back on. However, in some cases, they are beyond cleaning and have to be replaced. Something to keep in mind is you can see two different kinds of check valves depending on which model you're working on. There is the SAE style check valve, which is gonna be a shorter and smaller check valve resembling a fitting. And this is something to keep in mind when we're looking at that check valve located at the selector valve because as you can see in this picture, it's gonna look very similar to just a common fitting. So if we don't know what we're looking for, it could be overlooked and just seen as a regular fitting. However, when we look at this much longer style on the regular setup for check valves, you can see that this one will be very obvious when looking at it on the fryer. Keep in mind, you could see either one of these style check valves on the gas fryers that you would be working on. So as we can see, when it comes to troubleshooting the E83 pressure too high across all of our control panels and we're getting that on all of our vats, we need to look at what's in common with all those and that's gonna be that check valve in between the filter pump motor and the selector valve, as well as the pressure transducer. Now when it comes to troubleshooting that air code on one vat only, when it's displaying it on only one control, that's a little bit of a different troubleshooting situation. What we can do there is we can go ahead and bypass what we just talked about because we know that it has already gone past that and now the problem is only with one vat only. So what we need to keep in mind there is if we look at our plumbing diagram again, 
what we're going to notice on each one of our fry pots is we're going to have a check valve located at the bottom of that fry pot. And with troubleshooting this error code on one fry pot only, this is the check valve that we need to consider being clogged and causing that pressure to go too high and generate that error code. So what we could see there is we would need to drain the fry pot of oil and then potentially take that check valve off and either clean it or end up replacing it. Remember that the number one contributor to that air code is gonna be crumb buildup that has got past the filter pan into the plumbing system and caused that pressure to get too high because of a restriction. So remember to use this opportunity as a teachable moment to train the operator on the fryer to prevent this from happening in the future.